So I have for all of you makeup geeks out there today all about skincare video. This is for 40 and fabulous, but the routine that I'm gonna show you from start to finish, I'm gonna show you my morning routine first and then my evening routine, how to take all of this stuff off, which I'm gonna do next. Um, but this routine is meant to be anti-aging, very beneficial for the skin, very hydrating. So I'm gonna show you my actual skincare routine that I've done for years. And I swear you guys, by now, I'm gonna be 40 at the end of this year. Year. my skin texture now is better than it was in my 20s and I swear it's because I'm very strict with my skincare routine so I'm gonna take you step by step with that so let's get started first with the morning routine So I hope you all appreciate how sexy I look right now. <laughs> I am going to, since it's first thing in the morning and um, usually the night before I do a lot of super hydration and such. So in the morning I don't have any makeup on. So I like to do a very soft cleanser. So what I do is I take the Vichy one. It's called the one step cleanser for sensitive skin. And this is really inexpensive. You don't need to spend a lot of money on your cleansers. So all I do is I take some in my hand like this and I'll just kind of get it wet with some water so it lathers up a bit and then I just wash my face. So now all I do is just take a washcloth and just wet it and I just get these really cheap washcloths off of Amazon like the big packs of them they're super inexpensive. I like that they're just a little bit rough so that way I feel like it's really scrubbing the skin but it's not too harsh because it still is soft fabric. So all I do is just wash that off with a nice clean washcloth. So now in the morning, if I feel like my eyes are super puffy, this is where I like to put an eye mask on while I finish up my face routine. I'm going to use the Pixie Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. <laughs> my friend Sabrina actually gave them to me. Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> she was a sweetie pie. I'm actually obsessed with these and she got them for me. So what they are, just these kind of little um, eye patches and they have a lot of little serum on there, but they're very hydrating. So what I like to do is just put them under the eyes. Okay, now what I do is put my vitamin C serum on and you guys can grab any one that you feel is great. Uh, honestly, the best place to get vitamin C in some of the skincare is on Amazon. Just make sure it's from a reputable seller. I usually make sure that it's on the prime option. Look at the reviews and all of that. And I'll try to do a, later, a video later on just with Amazon finds on skincare because there's some really good stuff on there. But I'm gonna use the M Essence one, the Citrus and Kale. Um, it has vitamin C and E. So what I do is I take just a little tiny drop of that. I rub it in my hands and I put it on my forehead and on my face. Whoop. Trying not to get the eye patches as I just did there. But I like having the eye patches down first because you don't want to get vitamin C around your eyes because it can burn because it's very potent. One tip I wanted to tell you guys, every time you do a step on there, one thing that I've gotten really good in the habit of is to come down my neck and my decollete because you don't want to avoid this area too because we get a lot of sun damage. So you want to make sure everything you're putting on your face that you're putting on your chest as well. And then whatever left is left over, I put on the back of my hands because we don't want aging hands either. <laughs> so now that this is set, usually what I do at this point is I'll brush my teeth right here and just kind of let everything soak in a bit. And then I just take the eye patches off. So I know they've been sitting on there for a good like five or 10 minutes or so. I kind of make it part of my routine and then all of the um serum that is left over from the eye patches I'll just kind of rub it on the rest of my face so it gives a little extra hydration and then what I do is, is this step is if I feel that I'm dry in the morning it depends some days my skin is fine some days it's not my skin's very fickle <laughs> but if I feel like it's dry I'm going to use some hyaluronic acid and my favorite one because it's not too expensive is the Vichy one you can get this at most drugstores I think Target has it as well it's the Vichy Mineral 89 and so what I'll do is I'll just take one pump of that that's all you need again put it in my hands and we're just going to put this all over the skin just for lots of lots of hydration because I feel that's the one thing as we tend to get older at least for me my skin has gotten very very dry so I have to do extra steps of moisture whether it be serums or oils or both even so that's one key um, for aging skin is if you feel like you're getting dry hyaluronic acid is a lifesaver and I always put it down underneath my moisturizer 
Now the last step is just your moisturizer and I have a few different ones that are my favorite. I love the Elemis um, Marine Collagen one. That's amazing. It's very expensive, but amazing stuff. And then my other favorite one, which I ran out, I'm so upset because I usually have a bottle here, um, but it's Nia 24. I swear by that so, so much. I get it on Amazon because it's less expensive there. But another option that is kind of similar to it um, is the Aven one and it's the hydrating cream. It's the rich one. Um, I use the rich formula because again my skin is dry if your skin isn't as dry use something a little more lightweight so I'm just gonna take that on my hands and just rub this on and again put some on the back of my hands and that's pretty much it for my morning routine so as you guys can see do you see my skin texture it's very glowy it's very dewy very hydrated I like to layer product on top of each other so when I go to put my makeup on it flows very well because it's nice and hydrated underneath. So let's go into the nighttime skincare routine. Okay, you guys ready for this? I feel so sexy. I'm too sexy for my cap. Okay, so here's the first step that I do. If I'm wearing false lashes, I gently peel those off. These are Makeup Geek ones, and you can reuse these 12 times. So what I do is I peel them off. I take the glue and gently peel it off of the lashes. And if you need to, you can take an um, eye makeup remover, or you can take like a cleansing water, um, like the, um, I have the Garnier one because it's super inexpensive. And all I do is take some of that or an eye makeup remover, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. You're gonna take some on a Q-tip and then you're going to just run it along the edge of the lash and then lay them flat, put them back in your case, and then you can reuse them next time. So that's how I, I take care of my lashes. Okay, then I go in with my Burt's Bees um, Malek Missler, I don't even know how to say it, the cleansing towelettes, these guys right here. <laughs> so I always use a wipe first. The reason for that is because I don't wanna push the makeup back into my pores, I wanna kinda of get that top layer off. So what I do is I just wipe all of this off like that. And I like these Burt's Bees ones because they're not too expensive. You can get them at any drugstore. You can get them at Target. Remember that I put makeup down here and on my chest, on my neck. I always do that, so I make sure to clean all of this off. So now the next step that I do is I, if I still feel like there's residue on my skin, I use the Airborean Solid Cleansing Oil. I either use that, the other one I really like from them is the Airborean Black Cleansing Oil, but basically I use some sort of oil product to break it down. So all I'm going to do is take a little bit of this on my fingers and I'm going to put it in my hand and rub it. And then all I do is use this as a second. So I actually double or triple cleanse. I know that sounds crazy, but as long as you're using mild products that aren't too strippy, it actually works really good. So the reason why I do this too is because I wanna hydrate my skin. I don't wanna strip it, but still cleanse it. Okay, now what I do is I go in with my really clean washcloth. Just get those inexpensive Amazon ones, they work and just wipe this off, so gently cleanse it. Okay, do you guys see how my washcloth still has a little bit of makeup on there? So I'm a little OCD on it. I do one last cleanse just because I feel like I had a lot of makeup on. So this is where I can go in with that same cleanser that I used this morning. Another option is a really great one from Aesthetic Arts. It's the Botanical Cleansing Cream Makeup. It's a very creamy, very hydrating cleanser. You want something gentle because we're doing basically triple cleansing, so you don't wanna use something too harsh. So just put a little bit on the hands. Same thing, just really gentle, nice and creamy. Do one last cleanse. Then once I get my cleanser down, I rinse my washcloth off again and I do one last, one last sweep, but I make sure to be really careful around the eyes, but really get in there to clean up any eye makeup that may be left. 
Then what I do, now this I only do once or twice a week, is I put a mask on. I usually do this while I sit in the bathtub, I chill, I let it hang out for a little bit. Um, so skip the step if you're you know, doing this every night, you don't have to mask every night, just once or twice a week. Take the La Roche Posay, the Hydrophase Intense Mask. I really, really love this one. And so what I do is I take a bit of that mask and I just put it on my skin. And kind of do like a thick layer or so. You guys can see that it's really sitting on there. Come down the neck, the decollete. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes or so just so it could soak in, really hydrate my skin, and then wipe it off. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Again, take the washcloth, just kind of wipe it off just gently. It's okay if you leave like a little residue behind there, but I just don't want it to be super thick. Um, some masks are different, like the hydrating ones are very creamy. Some of the other ones, like purifying ones, can are clay and they can kind of turn hard and you want to really make sure you get those off really well. Okay, then the, the next step is I take um, my Aesthetic Arts, the Petals of Dew Hydration Mist. You can use this as a toner, you can use it as an after spray after your makeup. It's a really good product in one. So what I do is I just mist the face as a toner and if I feel like I got too much on I just take like a cotton swab or a pad and just kind of dab it just to really get it all over the skin and then the next step that I do now this one is super important this is like the best step for anti-aging is to use a retinol so definitely if you are not on any sort of retinol, get it into your skincare routine. I swear it has transformed my skin and has helped it to stop aging as quickly. Um, so what I use is the Jan Marini one. It's the Age Intervention Retinol Plus, and it's a serum. I worked my way up to using this um, almost every night, um, but I take breaks in between. You can't use it constantly every single night for years on end because it can thin out your skin. So what I do is I do four days on, three days off. Um, if you're just starting off with retinol, make sure that you um, start off very low percentage, do it once a week, then work up to twice a week because it can irritate the skin, but it's meant to rejuvenate. It's a, um, a vitamin A derivative and it's gonna help with collagen production. It's gonna help smooth out your skin texture, fine lines, wrinkles, all of that stuff. It's gonna help prevent and it helps me with my acne. So I make sure to put this on. So I just take a dollop of that and just put a light layer on like that. Oh yeah, lady. She follows me everywhere and always snores. <laughs> just like that. Oh, and come down the neck. And also remember guys, if there's any leftover product, I put it on the back of my hand as well because we wanna keep our hands from aging also. So make sure you get it on there. Okay. Then the next step is, is because I like extra hydration. Now I know my nighttime routine is a lot of steps, I know. <laughs> But this is the most important time. You're gonna be sleeping in this stuff. It's gonna be sitting on your skin for hours on end. So if you're gonna use any actives, anything that's super hydrating and great for your skin, now's the time to do it. So I use the LMS. It's well used, I'm almost out of it. It is the Night Recovery Cream Oil. Because my skin is so dry, and it gets dehydrated very quickly and easily. I put this on, so I just put a, I'm almost out. <laughs> I put just a little spot like that and just kind of blend it in. We're gonna layer this on top of the skin as well. So I put my, um, I wash and then I do my toner, then your retinol or whatever active that you're using and then um, your serum. Then the last step is gonna be your moisturizer and eye cream if you choose to do so. I, the one I swear by and I'm out, I'm kicking myself that I forgot to order some more before this video is the Nia 24. I will link to it below. It is my holy grail. I've gone through like at least 12 or 15 bottles by now. I've been using it for years. It's incredible. I don't have it. So one of my other favorites that I use is the um, Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Ripped Cream. I really like this one a lot. So I'm gonna take one pump Put this on, use it as my moisturizer. Just kind of really rub it in. Come down the decollete in the neck and then I put the back of it, um, rest of it on the back of my hands. And then the last step, I told you guys my skincare routine is intense, but it works. I swear by this, I'm very religious on my skincare routine. Then I take the Darfon, 
um, the anti-aging, anti-puffing eye cream. It's a really luxurious formula. It's a great brand. I love this brand so much. It's from France. It's a French brand. So I take it on my ring finger, pick up a little bit, rub it on like that, and then I'm just going to dab it on. Okay, bandana is off. That is the end of my <laughs> nighttime routine. Do you guys see, I know my skin's probably fresh right now because I, I put it through a lot, but do you see how hydrated it is? It feels very dewy, very fresh. When I go to sleep and I wake up, all of this soaks in and I wake up with the most smooth, amazing skin. So I know it's a lot of steps, you all. You don't have to do, like if you don't wear as much makeup as I do, you don't have to triple cleanse. Just do like, um, you don't even have to use a wipe. Just do the oil cleanser and then a nice creamy cleanser. So just one or two cleanses is fine. Three is just because I had a lot of makeup on today. So I hope that helps you all with the anti-aging, 40 and fabulous skincare routine. So click on the link below. I have listed everything that I talked about. If you guys have questions, comment below and I'll try to answer everything that I can about my skincare routine. So thanks for watching you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.